Hello and welcome back to QPR. Last time I started with the ceiling of the second floor of my school and maybe today I will try some mods because I actually want to build more on my Evangelion but every time I have to walk there and Semkedam actually made the mod Cubegate with this we have teleportation devices. So I thought that I could set up a teleportation device somewhere here and another one at my Evangelion so that I can teleport right there and save me all the time of walking there. So let's see. Oh, that's actually pretty cheap. Eight stones and a crystal. I don't have a crystal right now, but that shouldn't be the problem. I'm pretty sure that I can find the crystal somewhere. I could take one from my chests, but I think it would be faster to just take one from here. Normally there are a bunch of crystals right here somewhere. Right? Right? Oh, come on. Oh. I could also make one in the desert. So that I don't have to walk there. So come on. Just one crystal. Actually, I thought that this recipe would be a bit more costly because it's such a really strong mod. Oh, is, is there a hole? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. Nice. I will have to make this a bit bigger so that I can go through. That's cool. <laughs> I like it. Come on. Now I'm at the point where I could have just taken a crystal from my chests. Oh. Well, we did see a pretty nice new spot that I didn't saw before. Why are there no crystals? Ah, there. Okay, here they are. Come on. Eh. That's all as far as the eye can see. That's also pretty neat because now I can go on an adventure and if I want to go back I don't have to walk all the way back here. I can just place a teleporter and then the next time I can restart at a teleporter location. School looks pretty nice. Yeah. So let's go bottom mod first. I think I don't need the stones right now. Here it is. So. So those are the teleportation device blocks. We got, I think it's seven. One, two, three, four, 
five. Now I should still have two in my inventory. Yes, six and seven. So, where should I place it? Maybe here. This is a nice spot. So, our... This is our start location. Ah, maybe I should use this as the start location because in Stargate, the middle or the upper symbol actually represents the earth. So let's get this back. And I forgot what the symbol looked like. It was here. Uh, da, 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 da. This one. This is the one. So. So. Oh. Now I need one symbol for my Evangelion. Maybe this. This looks nice. This looks nice. And I do have it in my inventory. Nice. <laughs> so. Here. So, let's go to the Eva. It's not that far away, but... When I have the time to play QPR, or actually to build up my Evangelion, and I have to walk there, it takes a while. So, walking back and forth always takes some time. And now it's just instant teleport. Haha, <laughs> nice. And I can always take a block with me when I explore. That means it should be easier for me to actually go back home, see if my walking distance was enough to fill out all of my pure distance and then I can go back and check. <coughs> Sorry, that would be really nice. <coughs> my voice is cracking a bit. Sorry about this. Lately I often get some problems with my voice. Maybe I'm breathing too much. <laughs> or maybe it's a disappointment because I'm taking the course to get my Bachelor of Expertise in Print I thought that the whole course and um, the whole Bachelor of Expertise would be something on a higher educational difficulty but it turned out that most of the stuff we learn is something that I learned 18 years ago in school. And even when I learned it in school, it was more complicated and complex. And yeah, yesterday I was really disappointed about the content of the um, learning course. Everyone else was so baffled, they didn't know what they should do. And I was just sitting there, completing all the tasks, and just being there, and yeah, I thought, hmm. You woke up at 2.30 in the morning, you worked your ass off for 8 hours, and now you're sitting here, and you're bored. I was <sighs> really disappointing. I still hope that uh, actual level increases a bit because the title that I get is actually a pretty high one so I want at least to have some kind of acknowledgement so here so with this What? 
I'm home. Oh? Oh, huh. That looks strange. Maybe I should go back? Huh? What's happening now? Ah, now it's loading, but what's this? That was strange. No? Eh? Shouldn't it be... Oh, I made a mistake with the... Oops, okay. So the teleport just takes a while. Okay. Then maybe it really is just um, more useful for really long distance teleportation. even threw me out somewhere else. That's a known bug. That's okay. That's also in the readme. I'm not sure if it's supposed to look like this after a teleport. I have to ask Skeptrex after this. Interesting. I'm not even sure if it always looks like this even if you die. I know that it can take a while to load if you die really far away from your respawn place. Oh, actually, there's another block that I wanted to try out. And that's... Time Control. Made by Quill. So, 7 white paint. I don't have white paint in my chests for you now. So. Five, six, seven. How does it look? Ah, oh, almost. Oops. Come here. So. No. Let's see how time control works. I'll place it here as well. Oh. No space here. Okay, let's go on the roof. I do have plenty of time on the roof, so there should be more than enough space. Here. Ooh. With this mod we can actually change the time of the day. We can even see what time it is. And we can also pause the game. Let's make it evening. Something like this. 
With this I can finally have my long-desired twilight <laughs> zone. I always wanted to have the ability to freeze the time because now I can take really beautiful pictures of the sunset. Ah. This is really handy. This is especially handy if I'm recording some tutorial videos. Because sometimes I had to re-record the video because the lightning wasn't the lighting wasn't that nice. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Come on. Yes. And again. Yes. Yeah, you better. Uh. And now I can have every kind of daytime that I want. That also means that I can charge my crystal to any uh, kind of charging stage that I want. So if I want to have a lot of red crystals, <laughs> sorry, I can just change the time to night and then I can just charge my crystals. So. I'm pretty sure that I can even stand on top of this without getting blind. Yes, I can. Now I can work on top of those really bright stones without getting blinded by the bloom. This is actually a really useful mod. The same goes for the cube gate. Now it's a lot easier to get to my Evangelion. Doesn't it even take that much time to load the stuff. Maybe it just took a while because I'm recording at the same time. So that it uses more resources? I don't know. But it's still pretty awesome that I can get to my Evangelion so fast. So, I need more blocks. Ah yes, it was stone and green color. And I deleted the stones because I thought I don't need them. Ah, it's always the same with me. So, it's Still so awesome that we can now also see the custom blocks here. Me? Huh? <laughs> ah, there it is. <laughs> it just went missing. Ah. <coughs> Actually, my whole road is hurting. I was sitting outside yesterday. Maybe that's why. I should have some tea afterwards to get my throat back to working properly. Do I still have space? Yes, I can make at least four more.
Wait, I can actually place the copper in the chest. So that's five more. I do have the block factory. Here. <laughs> Make them open all equally. So. There has to be some kind of order. In the end, I still have to remove all of those blocks so that I don't get um, elevated while walking through my chest. And I should also start with um, having chest for every item. I do the same thing in my German world right now, where I place a lot of chests and then I put every item in the game in the chests so that I have plenty of resources. Ah. I don't think I have enough space. Okay, that's that's okay, so. so. Maybe one thing that I should um, ask Quill to do is to place this block up here so that we can actually see the time when we hit the block. Or maybe it's just me being stupid, but <laughs> yeah, if I want to see the time, I have to look down. Maybe it's just because I'm such a big <laughs> boy. <laughs> ah. I'm still really happy that I now can teleport to my Evangelion. This should offer me a bit more motivation to finish it. <laughs> I'm working on the uh, for Evangelion for one and a half year now. Uh, I'm really sad that I didn't have that much time to build on it. Even though I had a couple of days of vacation, I wasn't able to build on my Evangelion because I played a lot of other stuff and I streamed every day. That also takes a lot of time. It was a lot of fun, so I'm fine with this. But my Evangelion didn't get any love and I just want him to be completed because I think it will look really awesome once he's done. I just want to post him in the screenshot section in the Discord. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, sir. And actually, I wish that we had the uh, tape measurement mod a bit earlier. Because when I planned my Evangelion, I had to set his feet apart from each other and yeah I had to count the block distance by hand. I placed a block every 10 blocks so that I don't miscount but in the end I still miscounted by one block. <laughs> so I had to adjust the whole leg because I only noticed that I was misplacing one block was when I reached the point where both legs reach uh, meet each other. So yeah, it took me a while. And completing one um, level of the Evangelion now takes about 40 minutes. That's why I only want to build on it 
when I do have a bit more time. Yes. I really did take a liking to a live streaming because now that I have an active community it's a lot more fun to interact with them. That's why I also wanted to become a VTuber because it's so much fun to interact with people and as a VTuber it's I think at least a bit easier to get um, more people into you because VTubing is still pretty hyped right now so even someone like me could get a pretty high follower base even though I don't need it because I do have some really nice fans right now but to be honest having a bit more recognition and um, let's call it fame is always nice for the ego that's why I enjoy myself so much lately I always enjoyed myself making videos is still a really nice hobby of me and that will never change that's why I don't start my twitch career because uh, I still like to be more of a video provider than a live stream provider. And live streaming is also a bit hard if you have a full time job with your regular work shifts. For now, the only day in the week where I can always stream is Saturday. That's why Saturday is my streaming day. And for all the other days of the week, I do have my schedules. For example, Monday is Mod Review Monday. Wednesday is QPR German. Friday is Valheim. And later it will be replaced by Green Hell. Green Hell is a bit more story driven. So. I hope that this will be a bit more entertaining. No. And then we do have Saturdays where I stream and Sunday is QPR English. Uh, come on. Sometimes I can stream on sun Sundays if I have the light shift on Monday. Because then I can sleep in a bit more. So, but that's not always the case. I just realize how powerful the modding is actually. Because the day and night cycle is pretty much a pretty important core mechanic of the game. And with this mod, I can just play with core of the game. Having stuff like Block Factory is nice, but it never felt so game-changing. It's more like uh, cheating, but not really uh, game-changing, but I'm having the actual time in the game to be completely overwritten. It feels really powerful. 
It's really awesome what the mods can do. And right now we are still having only the iceberg tip of the whole modding. Because the API modding is a really powerful tool. We can get so much more interesting stuff. I can't wait. There's so much interesting stuff that we can get. <laughs> I really like it. It's also interesting that we can get um, rebuilt stuff with just placing a block. There was once a block where you could get a procedural generated house, I think. And I'm pretty sure that this was the basic for the cube gate. Because I place a block and I get a whole stargate. <laughs> That's really awesome. I mean the whole teleportation device thing is awesome. Ah, let's get some stones. And this time I shouldn't delete them. <laughs> ah, stupid me. Already forgot what I was doing last week. But hey, it's been a week. And I spent a week with... Ah, come on! With playing video games. Porridge! There might be light. <laughs> I enjoyed my vacation. Didn't get as much done as I wanted, but I did watch some anime. They were not really that great. One was actually decent, but not really uh, that interesting either, so it's not really on my recommendation list or anything. It was about a gamer who was the, bless, uh, the best uh, gamer in the country, but in life he was pretty much a loser. Didn't look nice, had a really bad posture, no friends. And then the second best player in the in the country wanted um, to meet with him. And then the second best player noticed that the main character, the number one player, is actually a classmate of her. And then she decided to show him that life is also a game where you can change your character settings and stuff. And then she showed him how to resent himself so that people think that he is someone else. And yeah, everyone was like, oh, this anime is so great. It shows good ways for self-improvements. On the surface, it did. It showed that you can change your posture to look more energetic and more appealing. But in the end, the anime was not about self-improvement. It was about deceiving other people to think that you self-improved. Even the main character said that he don't like to play this role, but that he wants to be himself. So yeah, it was in the end not really that nice. Still pretty okay. I didn't regret spending five hours on this anime, but I was thinking of getting the light novel, but even there people said that the latest light novel chapters are not really that great. And then I was like, mm, yeah. I saw that the Blu-ray collector's disc for Garden of the Sinners or Kara no Kyokai, an really awesome anime from Type Moon, um, got a box for about $100 a euro. And I can get this next month with my non-smoker bonus from work. And yeah, I was thinking, hmm, Kara no Kyokai or this mediocre 
light novel. And I didn't have to think twice, I got the Blu-ray discs. Or I will get them. Kara no Kyokai was one of the first novels from Hinaku Nozu, the creator of the Fate universe and the Nasu universe, actually. Because it's not just Fate, it's also Tsukihime and stuff like this. It's interesting because um, Nasu wasn't that um, hyped for the anime at first because um, the anime for Tsukihime really was bad and it is actually the consensus of the whole um, Nasuverse community that there is no anime for Tsukihime. There is an anime called Tsukihime, that's it. <laughs> And it really shows how bad this anime was. It was really bad. <laughs> and yeah, it doesn't even have that much in common with actual Tsukihime. Only the characters. And yeah, it was really bad. So Tsukihime didn't receive that much good publicity. Then there was the Studio Dean Fate Stay Night anime from 2006 as well. And this anime also didn't get that hyped. It was okay. It took the fate, uh, yeah, the fate road, and it was okayish. Didn't do anything wrong. It's just it was okay. But um, yeah, Nasu didn't get that much um, praise that he hoped he would get. Or something like this, not really praised, but um, yeah. So he was not really that comfortable that one of his first books that he read, wrote several years before this to get an anime as well. But the studio actually made movies out of it. They said, okay, we will not make an anime series, but we will make a movie series. It's now... I think 11 movies or something like this over the course of multiple years and what should I say it's awesome I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it the animation quality is really awesome it's like Uvo table top quality Uvo table made really awesome quality for Fate Unlimited Blade Works for the uh, movies and for Kara no Kyokai movie. Uh, Kara no Kyokai, yeah, and for um, Demon Slayers. So the quality was really, really awesome. The soundtrack is as well something you can't get normally in normal anime. So awesome animation quality, a soundtrack that is over the top and the fans were really really happy with it because it's so awesome and yeah that was actually what surprised even Nasu that the work he did so early in his career managed to have so many fans so yeah, Kara no Kyokai succeeded pretty hard. <laughs> I like it. And even got some collab in the mobile game Fate Grand Order. I also got um, the main character in the Fate Grand Order game. The main character for Kara no Kyokai is Shiki. And I got her saber form in the mobile game. I got her while I was sitting at the airport in Israel. I rolled for her and I got her and I was happy. <laughs> and we also got the normal Shiki version, which is an assassin class, which is also nice. So yeah. I still actually think of getting um, the manga for my dress up darling. It was a pretty decent anime and 
I want to see more of it. So maybe if I have some money left next month after getting the blue rays for Coroner Kyokai, I will get maybe the first two or three volumes of the manga. I read a bit in the manga online, so I know that the quality is okay. So I think it should be okay to have. Still not enough. Uh, uh, okay, I don't need this. Zack. Come here, so. Yo, so. So let's see. Maybe I should um, have some anime and manga reviews on my Discord. So that I do have some content on my Discord. Because now I put a link to my Discord in every video of mine. So maybe my Discord will grow. And if I put at least some kind of content there, then it should grow stable. And because anime and manga are still a big part of my life, even though not the biggest since I got virtual reality. But yeah. And also light novels replaced almost all of the manga stuff. But I'm still a pretty nerdy uh, otaku. So having my Discord resolving around anime and manga and light novels and video games should be okay because that's just a showcase of my character. So I don't have to bend myself or anything. You know that I always want to be myself and not to be someone else just for the sake of yours. So okay, that's enough for today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. The cube gate is awesome. <laughs> and so is the time stop. The time control. So yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Till next time and please stay healthy. Bye!